This show is brought to you by Manscaped, the world's leader in below the waist grooming. AFTV, all those salty, you be, I know you've been speaking to all them uh, no. brilliant fans and some salty United fans. No, they've gone missing, Rob. Are they missing? They have gone, you know, they went missing so badly that on the live stream, I called up at least four of my Man United friends that always call me when Arsenal lose. Two of them didn't pick up. One of them did and said, oh, I didn't even watch the game. Of course you didn't. <laughs> Another one said I left after it was 1-0. They've just gone in hiding. No one's at me. No one's calling me. They've gone. I thought after the Leipzig win, according to them, <laughs> there's no point in us turning up, you know what I mean? But we dominated the game. Yeah, I was really surprised, to be honest with you, because the way we started, I didn't think we would start that strongly. No. And the way we was moving, we weren't pressing high like, like we normally mm. do, but we was moving the ball around, popping it. That, the battle between the two Sakas, I'll call them. Wan Basaka, but Bakayo Saka. <laughs> I like the battle they were having there. Mm. Saka did put a few foots wrong in the game, mm. but the battle between them two, I feel like he came out a bit stronger than, than, than Aaron did. And I, I love to see that because you look at, not to disrespect him, but you look at Bakayo, he doesn't, he doesn't look like the strongest guy, small mm. stature and stuff, but he is strong. That's why they call he's him little chilly. He's solid, mm. yeah. And, you know, as I said, deserved win and so many players stepped up. Partey, yeah. Gabriel, you know, Holding, you know, El Nenny. Yeah. Great performances oh, by them. Why doesn't he get the credit that he deserves? Mm. I predict. I did my match preview for this and I put him in my predictive starting 11. Mm. It was kind of similar to today's one. Everyone looked at me mm. sideways like, El Nenny, this person, that person. But I'm like, El Nenny hasn't put a foot wrong since he's come in for the Community Shield. Yeah, but I was, you have to. Yeah. You have to. The way he's moving the ball around, mm. the partnership with Partey as well, they, mo they, they make each other look good. They are yeah. good individually, but they make each other look even better. Once one would stay, the other one would go and they were both dynamic. Yeah. You know, and when you've only got, when you're sort of playing with two midfielders, you need one of them yeah. sometimes to be that driving force. When we've kind of had, you know, sort of Xhaka in there with El Nene, it's been kind of both of them just yeah, sitting. So there's not really anything offered, but Partey. When, when Partey wasn't going forward, El Nene was. He was making yeah, those yeah, runs, yeah. getting the ball off to the he left or whatever. Yeah. 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 So I like that. And I, I like the fact that whenever they did lose the ball, Partey in particular, he gets it back. Yeah. Like that, he's, he's got it back in the midfield again already. So, and Gabriel, we have to give him his credit. Yeah. I mean, we do. Every, ever since he's come in, he's always had a solid defensive performance. Mm. And even on a yellow, he was still going in for the tackles, still mm. making sure he's clearing the ball, going in solidly. So, is that a word? Solid. Yeah. Going in solid. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like, Gabriel, I can't choose between those three players for man mm. of the matchup. You think it's a stepping stone in the right direction? It's that. Oh, same old thing, you lot never go away and get a result against them type of teams away, but we have now. That's been put to bed. Now can they kick on? That's going to make them, it's, it's, you say it's uh, one game, but those three points mm. are going to make a massive difference towards the end of the season because th these mm. are the games where we always drop the points in against the big six. So mm. getting free today against Man United is, is massive for us. And whether you think it was a, a lucky game or whatever United fans probably going to chat nonsense about. <laughs> I'll say lucky game. To be fair, I don't, yeah, I don't know. that game like this. They, you know, they, they, <laughs> I don't they, understand. You, you know what is what? Even though it was a penalty, right? You could see all game. If I was a United fan, watching that game, I'd be like, it's coming. All game is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only a matter of time. We're not doing enough. I wonder who they're going to scapegoat though. Is it going to be Pogba giving away his third penalty under Ole? Or is it going to be Ole? Because he's got a team full of players there. You look at the starting 11. Well, how are you? How are you? They're going to win the Champions League last week. You know what I mean? So... I don't know how they haven't pulled out a decent performance because they've got the mm. players. And I was saying earlier as well, we always say this ain't a big fixture no more because it's not the Patrick mm. Vieira, the Roy King, you don't have that. Mm. But you, you see uh, Matic and McTominay trying to touch my captain. <laughs> Are you actually okay? I'd love to see it, but don't touch mm. my captain. You don't do that. <laughs> Great win. Um, so who's your man in the match? Who do you? I can't decide. So it's between Partey. Well, give me one. Ooh. Do you know what? Only because I feel like he doesn't get enough credit, I'll give it to Oneni. 